Right. It just, it's a very powerful message. Namaste. We have a new guest, uh, Dr. Srinivas Pandey, joining us, and he's an Ayurveda specialist, uh, a practice practitioner uh, based out of Delhi. And Dr. Srinivas, would you like to uh, share your story and what you have done so far and uh, where are you from? Yes. Firstly, let me introduce your word. My name is Srinivas Pandey, and I'm basically North Indian. I hail from Varanasi, UP, Uttar Pradesh. I have right. traveled, I have studied, uh, my education has been in nine states of uh, the country. And I speak 10 Indian languages. I'm very comfortably, I can handle any languages. Wow. <laughs> That's a good but, part. Wow. But all Indian <laughs> That's the ease factor for me to get connected to the patients of any region of the country easily. You could be an ambassador right. for all the world right now. Ten, well, 10 different languages, <laughs> but... Wow. I'm, I'm working in Ayurveda Shala Kotakal, same where Dr. Ramesh was there for a few days before. Yeah, he was. Uh, he is in head office Kerala. I'm heading the Delhi branch in South Extension. I'm uh, almost three decades. I am associated with these people, with this institution, which is an 118 year old institution. And I'm, we are practicing. We are having OPD here, or I, IP and IP is in Karkaduma. There is a hospital in Delhi. Where we have got yeah. IP, where we do all panchkarma as well as OPD also. So wow. now uh, talking about the uh, corona first, we start. Yeah. So first thing, it's a very pandemic happening, which never we could imagine. But firstly, I would like to say, it very timely, our government and our Modi ji has responded to uh, make this uh, lockdown. It's very very primitively which was needed because it's an uh, uh may my kuch jada to nahi bol no, no, no. We, we're just welcoming another guest yeah. <laughs> no. so, so because it's you see uh, it's similar to a uh, influenza or coriza and all such things happen but that is little uh, bacterial effects but this is a virus which there, as you know ki, there is no cure uh, as such in any system and even I don't claim any cure, but what I can say is some precautions, preventions, and as well as how to build up your immunity. That is more important. Because unless uh, your immunity is better and you're kept isolated, who is affected, that should be isolated, the patient. Then only you can keep away from the disease. In Ayurveda, that's already a chapter, uh, so-called Janapada Dhamsa chapter. Janapada Dhamsa means it deals with epidemic diseases. All epidemic mm -hmm. diseases. So they have mentioned the facts: ki uh, jal, vayu, the water, wind, and desha, the area, the place where you stay, and the kala, the time. These things, if it gets polluted, then the natural existence it causes too many diseases. That is a basic. Uh, There's such thing which happening in such a community disorders in pandemic cases and all. So here, what you have to do is, first thing is, uh, in Ayurveda, uh, there are many methods for keeping healthy from the beginning, it has been told. Dhinacharya, that is daily, day-to-day -day routines. How to maintain your day-to-day -day routine every day. That is called Dhinacharya. And similarly, in every season, as per the seasonal changes and the weathers, the food, diet and regimen, Ahara is food and Vihara is the regimen. These are specified. This constitution person should take this food, and in this season, he should avoid this thing. If you keep following these things, you already you maintain your health very well. But if you fail to it, it happens, you, it leads to imbalance of your doshas. That is, and uh, I'll, I'll, be, I'll put one more point in this is when you say corona, it is affecting your throat, uh, the thing, nasal, the thing, and even chest. So, these are the kafasthanas. The place of kapha. So we can uh, if, uh, see in quarantine what the effects we are getting in patients or uh, those who are uh, who have been already suffered and who are in quarantine and precaution period. In those cases, what we are giving is the uh, medicines which can reduce the kapha, cough, and the respiratory distress, especially uh, the phlegm accumulation. And so we are, we tell them to take hot water. Ushnodagam. Ushnodagam is hot water. And that hot water you should boil with ginger. Ginger has got antiviral as well as antipyretic 
and carminative. Carminative means it helps in digestion. Whereas any disorder, any disease which is having kapha dominance in nature, it will cause agni manja. That is your digestive fire gets down, diminished. It needs to be increased. It needs to be increased. The fire should be improved better. And then uh, and your digestion also kept uh, in normal. So for that, uh, you should give only light food. So we are telling in quarantine period, give only light food. Light is laghu ahara. His digestion is weak. So, and you should take uh, warm water. Eh? And you can give this uh, giloe. Giloe is uh, tinospora cordifolia. That is, we call it as guruch in local language. Giloe. Giloe, uh, haldi, uh, ginger, pipli, lashuna, uh, this muleti, uh, black pepper. These are the things which are very commonly available at our home. Home remedies. This can be tried in patients. Which very very simple. See, we can only do some precautions and to improve the immunity. So, in precaution, if you start taking from the uh, early stages, you start taking boiled water with ginger, or uh, say this one, yellow or pipilin, or even jeera pani. Jeera also can be put in and boiled. That keeps your uh, the thing stomach clean. The gas is also less, and your agni, your fire is also better improved. Number one. And number two, if at all you have other symptoms of upper respiratory tract, we call it as urdhva jatru vikaras. Urdhva jatru is anything which is above the chest. That is kapha sthana, place of kapha. So for that, we give, uh, very commonly we give in cold and sinuses and dashamulla katutrayadi tablet, which contains again pipli, uh, black pepper, and uh, this thing, ginger. These are all very basic things to uh, reduce kapha as well as to strengthen your agni and clear the uh, kapha uh, from the sinuses this thing so uh, we give giloe ghanvati indukantam kashayam dashmul kadutradi these are our preparations and even others also that shadangam paniyam and warm water turmeric water the, you can give even for gargling <laughs> am i wrong no, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, discussing about turmeric water and black pepper and ginger and garlic yeah uh, please we started the show and as you are you, you are the uh, expert in the panel so Kim and we were just uh, understanding what we have discussed in the past and what you are yeah. doing busy yeah, I'm, just commenting. I'm not laughing at you it's just and kids always tell me Kim yeah, put more turmeric Kim yeah. you know, do ginger yeah. so now yeah. these are great great advices um because I think it is what we put inside our bodies and, and I think you said that hasn't been checked but you're going to test it and then I said, supposing you brought the light inside the body, you can, which you can do either through the skin or uh, in some other way. And I think you said you're going to test that too. Sounds interesting. Right. And then I see the disinfectant. So, just talking about, get this. Falling, falling from? Using UV light to kill the virus. Okay. He's talking about it. Yeah. Yeah. And you think and how to get the UV light in the body. <laughs> See, for example, uh, when so there is cup. Dr. Yu tells us to go sit outside and, and just let the sun so absorb in our body. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want you to be uh, <laughs> No, no, no. You can do it. See, some of you have a pharynx inflammation. Yes. So let's show you how this all played out as uh, the president undermined. So um, one of my partners is in Washington, D.C., he might have a meeting with Pence about, you know, using stem cells, and now he can oh. talk about how the laser, uh, the oh. UV light that we use in our clinics, right, to to kill pathogens, irradiate your blood, um, yeah, yeah. and you can even IV ozone too, which will kill viruses. And um, hmm. this is all, this is all stuff that the CDC, WHO is not promoting in fact there's a lot of clinics being shut down by the department of justice and the uh, federal trade commission for saying oxygen ozone helps boost your immune system kills pathogens but this does there's studies but there was a clinic in texas and now they're suing them for saying ozone therapy they're using ozone therapy to kill the covid virus they probably shouldn't be saying that they should have a disclaimer but here the president himself is saying, let's hit the body with UV light. 
Is there any way we could get it inside the body? Yes. Um, you could put the light on, on your veins, like in your wrist. It'll go in. You can IV the laser. You can, uh, you can IV your blood into a tube, right? In an IV tube. And then the tube, you can irradiate with the laser and light and IV it back in your blood. Can we just it's do a sun uh, bed like yeah. they, you know, a big sun tanning bed and we just lay in it? And <laughs> oh, we have that. We have a um, infrared yeah. light bed. Just so make it we already have up. everything. Let me sleep yeah. on it. Well, just let me lay down. No, I'm serious. We have a, we have a laser bed. I'm serious too. Yeah. I'm serious too. Let's do it. Let's sell them. I mean, I, I think let me show you my uh, infrared light bed right here. You know, light um, is the first thing created, right? Yeah. And people don't know that you cannot. Light is a nutrition. You've mm. heard of the uh, the sun gazers, right? Some of the mm. yogis they. At the break of dawn and mm. at dusk, when the sun goes down, the sun is orange. It's safe to yeah. stare at. And then you can get nutrition. Some of the Indian yogis. Yeah. But sir, the uh, sun rays you should take the, from morning 8 to 12, it is okay. But not after 12. Yeah. Not after 12. 12. Four, it's dangerous. Uh, no, it has, to be at, it has to be at the sundown. Otherwise, you're going yeah, to damage exactly. your retina. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Let me show you how light. Uh, let me share my screen here. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, hello? Uh -huh. Can you see the screen? Yes, yes. I'm trying is. to share is the it? screen. You can see? Yeah. Yeah. No. Share screen. Here we go. Can you see? Not visible. Not no. Not visible. Yet. I think there is some connection issue with uh, Doctor uh -huh. Kanuti. Kanuti. Yeah. Yes. So what I'm telling is when we have cold or any pharyngitis or any upper tract infections, in that first we advise is, kuch nahi, just do tulsi and ginger and uh, turmeric. This okay. kada, a decoction prepared of this, you take it yeah. for three days. But in, in thumb, as a thumb rule, such uh, this thing, we call it as penisa. Penis means a sinus, a pratishya, pratishya is a running nose. So in that we first three days we advise only uh, these decoctions and see if the patient is okay with us. If he doesn't, then we prescribe some medicines and then we uh, and give some diet restrictions and all. Because every time you should remember, he, whatever you take food is going to create the imbalance in your constitution of your body as well as the vitiation of your doshas, whether vata, pitta, kapha, and all. So that results in manifestation of various symptoms leading to diseases. So according to that. Uh, Especially when we uh, say about Corona, it's COVID has got upper tract and throat infection and sinus and even the swabs are taken from the throat and all. So that shows that yeah. all the kapha areas, mucus areas are more this thing. And the, the uh, kapha dominance is there. So kapha is again constituted of earth and water. It's a constitution of earth as well as water. So, so earth is heavy. So we should take light food. That's what we say. The logic in that. And water, so for water should against water you should take agni, the fire part. So so we put that uh, this thing, ginger or uh, this thing, uh, pipli, black pepper, and boil the water to make it fire dominant and that. So that kills the kapha. We, the symptoms of kapha are congestion of the pharynx and uh, sinuses can reduce in that. Yes. That's what. So and uh, oh, that's what a precaution and uh, the ready-made medicines. Even you can take chavan prash regularly. Or you can take giloy kanvati, or giloy juice you can take, or indukantam kashayams and all, and uh, pipali preparations, trikatu, trikatu preparations, shadangam. These are the things what we give usually advice. And hot water to be drunk, uh, lukewarm water to be sipped frequently. And do regular some anulomunam pranayam, breathing exercises, as well as some exercise which expands your lungs. There is expansibility of your lung a little more. Yeah. That shows your this thing is clear. And okay. if you take heavy food again, 
uh, the food will if you are taking more heavy food that will exert pressure on the diaphragm the diaphragm again it gets uh, your lungs get stained with that so the, again the uh, symptoms of dyspnea or breathing difficulty happens so the importance of food is also given in this firstly in every diseases ayurveda basically aims for ahara vihara and uh, nidra these things See. okay uh, abhagesh he has come i think he is connected yeah, he is there he is there hmm. doctor you can you can can you hear us because uh, i think there is a camera issue today um, ha ha okay okay doctor you i think there is some network issue with doctor you today i mean we are not able to ha ha is not able to connect yeah you'll find it he walks around until he finds a good connection yeah um he he's very technically savvy for a doctor so oh, that's what he was very excited to talk uh. Yeah, so but I'm excited about talking with you because you've 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 got a lot of experience in, um, and it sounds like that you truly believe in the things that we're trying to express. Okay, now. Build your immunity, right? Build up your immunity. Protect yourself uh, with the basic practices: washing your hands, um, yes. sanitizing your you know your home, and and your get your change your clothes, wash them. Um, just go ahead and get. So I would like to uh, know from uh, Dr. Pandey that uh, what do you think uh, in Ayurveda about stem cell? Because Dr. Yu is uh, doing a lot of research on stem cell and uh, yeah. he's uh, doing a lot of uh, clinical trials and he thinks that stem cell would be a good way to solve a lot of medication. In, in, in Ayurveda, what do you think about stem cell? See, firstly, I would like to say every system has got its own importance okay. and every system has got some limitations. like yeah. in ayurveda in any emergency or any acute conditions we cannot do anything we have to depend on the uh, the yeah. thing, uh, more system only and so if the uh, symptoms are so acute so uh, gratified that it can't be it's not within cure in such cases uh, the option should be uh, as per the expertise of the modern medicine the stem cells or steroid induction or antibiotics or anti antiviral etc and all that. but nothing they have been trying they have not come up with anything it's only trial again stem cells i don't think it will be much this thing i have not had come with any solid this thing so far and otherwise i am not much aware of it also yeah you so, see uh most uh yes come most doctors you get zero hours of stem cell biology in medical school yeah okay so a lot of people have heard about it but you know there's there's no school that really teaches it so Exactly. That's why I belong to the American Academy of Stem Cell Physicians and we train doctors all over the world. You know, we've had Indian doctors from doctors from Pakistan, um Asia, you know, all over Europe. Mm. So, you know, we meet about 3-4 times a year at our academy in Miami um just to teach everyone. So, but now we have to do uh, our next workshop virtually because of you know covid <laughs> yeah. yeah it's it's got to be difficult um i'm just so you i think uh, you should uh, keep in school what what got you into him so what, what what created your your well interest? um you know i i i worked in korea for 10 years right and um okay. i did a uh, chiropractic medicine mm -hmm. and that's a lot of manual labor a lot of when you treat someone you with your hands um mm -hmm. there's a lot of energy that goes out of your body and it wore my me out and I'm like I can't do this anymore so then I um then I went came back to the US and I I discovered I had sciatica which is back pain that shut down my leg and nothing helped not even chiropractic so I discovered this laser and decompression and the laser got the pressure off my sciatic nerve and it went away and it was a german laser so we started doing laser therapy and so i i invented the laser med institute and and then a few years ago i hurt my shoulder doing crossfit i couldn't even lift my shoulder i didn't want surgery mm -hmm. so i had the stem cell injected in my shoulder and i lasered it and now i can do my exercise again i'm like wow this really works um 
So I, uh, I started combining the laser with the stem cells, and that's why we're getting such great results. And, you know, they've done stem cell research in China on the COVID patients, and they've been able to completely reverse the lung damage wow. and symptoms in two or three days. But people don't know that we all have stem cells. We're all born with it. Yes, I mean. It's, it's, yeah, the problem cool. is when you get older, hmm. your stem cell count dies, so there you you can't fight infections, you, you know, because it it immunomodulates your immune system and you can't repair tissue. So hmm. we like to combine the light with the stem cells. The light stimulates the stem cells to grow. So yeah, let me show you a, a slide presentation here. Let me share, see if I can really share my screen here. It keeps on entire, I picked entire screen. Here we no, go. Don't do the entire screen. So pick uh, the other option, either okay. the tab or application window. That would definitely work for you. How about now? Can you see? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah I know it is. So picking the entire All screen right. would- uh, I, was, uh, I was talking about earlier how the, the Yogi Sun Gazers. Okay, you, you need to share a different screen. There you go, there you go. Okay, uh -huh. good. Wow. And that makes melatonin. That's a hormone that makes you sleep. Yes. And it also stimulates your circadian rhythm. That controls your biological clock, well, right? Well, and also it uh, stimulates vitamin D3, and that's, mm. That's for your immunity, your hormones, it makes bone. Mm. So everything we deal with in our clinic starts with light. So that's the first thing that God created, right? And yeah. so light is a nutrition, but people don't know that. So it's very interesting how President Trump was saying, we need to get UV light in the body to kill the virus. So my partner's in Washington, D.C. right now. Um, I think he had a meeting with Vice President Pence, so I just... I just showed 